Hello, Final Dungeon, I hope, tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades with me, Blue Ankylo. So in between episodes, I rested enough to finally heal up and uh, restore some spell charges. I don't know what the odds are of getting a full day out here, but it took a couple battles and it was, you know, a little bit inconvenient. But uh, you can definitely do it, it's just maybe not the best for recording, perhaps. Anyway, let's enter the castle! and see what we can see. The spirit of Oswulf blesses you as you pass. So I'm quite certain that if you had not assembled his all those gems or whatever they were and gone back to the dwarf in the in the Temple of Tyr, you and and basically made the staff, uh, you would not be allowed past. You could have gotten here earlier, well not earlier, but you could have you could have beelined this area and then got locked out if you hadn't done the other quest. You have entered a huge entryway filled with a noisy background music. Just a sec. Just a little bit louder than I want it. Okay. So, you have entered a huge entryway. Entered an entryway. Its end hidden in the mist curling up from the walls. As you watch, thick sheets of ice melt away. This hallway is not like Allswolf once described. Val is the one speaking again, in case you didn't notice. She continues and you recorded in journal entry 29. All right, uh, let's switch over to the manual. 29, she says. So, up a bit. I do like having these old manuals around. They're pretty cool. So, Val's description of the old castle. I was here as a young child. Oswulf used to hold town meetings in the Great Hall. The hall was huge, much larger than this, and I don't recall any alcoves. These alcoves along the side were definitely put there by the Dreadlord. I suspect that he has radically changed the entire castle. Oswulf has said that his brother has become paranoid and turned the castle into a maze of traps. Great. We must watch where we place our feet. Any stone could conceal a pit or dart. Well, we're going to get hit a few times because I'm not following my... Uh, hint book map, so that'll certainly happen, unless there's some way to tell in ahead of time. Oh good, a Medusa appears before you and bows. Each serpent in her hair inclines its head gracefully. I am so sorry not to have greeted you at the door. I am Sargatha, Castellan for the Dreadlord. As you can see, we are ill-equipped for guests at the present. Still, we must show show you our hospitality. She produces a scroll and hands it to you, and then turns you to stone. Please sign. <laughs> Let's read the scroll. As you begin to read the scroll, it explodes. I mean, I'm not really surprised. I just wanted to see if it said something funny. Like, you're about to explode. Ah, uh, I guess we should have just attacked her, or thrown it away. The Medusa laughs and takes a step back. It seems the scroll believes you are hostile. I am in no position to argue. A horde of monsters appear between you and the Medusa, then she disappears. Alright, what do we got? We got storm giants, we got a whole bunch of Medusas, and some cockers. So now we're all going to get turned to stone once I finally threw away our mirrors. That'll be fun. Um, I mean, the standard opener is to cast fireball, right? You know, so. So, um. That'll hit almost all of them. Yeah. Good damage. Good damage. Good. And keep killing these stone people. Now, I think Vala and Shinga are safe because they have silver shields. But that's only like two people. Turns out, shouldn't be a problem. We just kill them all. One good fireball and we're fine. I think storm giants are supposed to be the strongest of the giants, generally. Above frost, ice, hill, cloud, etc., etc. 
Usually, I'm pretty sure the um, storm giant belt, like if you have a belt of storm giant strength or a ring, uh, it'll give you more strength than the other type of giant belts and, and girdles and stuff. I think. Anyway, 10,000 XP, not terrible. Uh, a ton of money that, you know, by now you know. Alright, well, we got a good start to this dungeon. As you enter the S alcove, you spot a metallic face on the wall. Its eyes glow and the floor begins to shake. Well, we're brave. Let's see what happens. The shaking almost knocks you from your feet, but then quickly subsides. I guess running away might have been the, the wrong way to do it. The iron face does not react. This is probably some trigger. There is probably some trigger. We must seek it out. Okay. Oh good, a cleric appears, walking jerkily. He chants, Madness flows from he who gives it. Giving is the ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifice is a bomb to the gods. Gods inspire the mad. Madness flows... What do you... What do you do? Well, the last time we didn't kill him, we got attacked and blown up. Let's, just, let's see what happens. You snap him out of his chant. He mumbles and you record it in journal entry 67. I'll just use Goldbox Companion. 67. Mad Cleric's Ramblings. Questioned the High Lord Bane once. Oh, this is him speaking. Questioned the High Lord Bane once, you know. Didn't think that the Dread Lord was worthy of his attentions. Questioned that I did. You know the questions are a burden. Very burdensome for a god. Then came the silver blades, and I questioned again. Then came the ice, and I called out to Bane. In his wisdom, he kept my mind from freezing. Let me think about my questions for 300 years with only ice as far as the eye could see. Can't see very far through ice either. Unmoving for 300 years gives a man pause. Finally, I discovered the answer, and I sacrificed my mind. Sacrifice is a bomb to the gods. Gods inspire the mad. Madness flows from, and we're probably about to be attacked. He wanders into a wall and continues his chant. I mean, if that's what he wants to do, probably should have killed him, servant of Bane and all. And, you know. Okay, and this wall has nothing in it. So, where do you want to go? Final dungeon, I mean, could be fun. The room is a garbage pit filled with moldering foodstuffs. Roll constitution or get diseased. The room is filled with bits of giant armor, damaged weapons, and broken pots. A small lever is recessed into the wall. Yes, and we'll get dropped into an acid pit. Nah, that probably opens the uh, face mirror thing. Almost assuredly. Just want to finish up the map there a little bit. This is how we got in, right? No? How did we get in according to the map? Hmm. Let's just wait. Fleeing and waiting do the same thing, apparently. Wait a second. Look at the mini map. Two five, two six. Okay, you don't need a mini map to figure this trick out. If you're paying attention to the coordinates on screen, we went from two five facing south to two six facing north. That's what was tricking me. So now we're in a new area, or an old area. This must have been the actual entrance to the dungeon. And then the first time I went there, it teleported me to the other side. All right, all right. So if you flee, you probably won't get teleported. If you wait, it flips you around. Okay. That's a sneaky little trick. The ice steams away from a barracks of cloud giants. Once awake, they turn and eye you suspiciously. One yells, dinner time. They attack. Uh, but they're just giants, right? There's a lot of them, but I don't need to use spells for these guys. We're just going to... I'm just going to chill. And then fellas can slaughter them. Well, maybe. Oops. Oh, 
Yeah, these guys, they're just not that threatening. jump into the fray. Hopefully we can find a teleporter in here before too long and uh, we can use that to level a couple people up. I'm sure there's a couple. I mean remember the well of knowledge? There's like... man there's still like four or five teleporters that aren't activated in there so... there's got to be at least a couple in this in this final dungeon if not all of them. Alright, lots of XP. I mean, okay, optimally, let's wait till Pixel, Christina, and Sirius have a level up, and then we'll go back to town. That'd be fine. Um, let's heal up Christina a little bit. She took some damage somewhere along the lines. Um, how do I want to do that? We'll just use some Cure Light Wounds. These are, I think, the best spells to use from the uh, the menu here. Where did I take all that damage to? I don't remember getting hit. Let's not be paying very good attention. Okay, and then Shinga should have... Oh, I must have forgotten to rememorize his Cure Wounds and Cure Serious Wounds. Oops. I thought I'd remember I re-remembered or re-memorized everyone's spells, but... Doesn't look I got quite everyone. Oh well, good enough. Okay, so another sort of empty room. You come across the officer's quarters. For a moment you see them frozen in the midst of a dice game. Then the roll is completed and they attack. I wonder what they rolled. Flat-footed would be a one or something. That's a lot of giants. I mean, you can see if you compare the stats. The storm giants are tougher than the cloud giants. Ah, uh, I've got lots of fireballs. I'll throw one fireball in here to speed things up. That'll be fine. I don't want to, like, waste all of our spell tra I think, like, all of them are saving, yeah. Almost all of them sa got their saving throw for half damage. And then we miss. We could always calculate what our chances of missing are, if you really want. Sorry, no singing aloud, even if it's a nice song. Um, we haven't talked about uh, old D&D mechanics, but... Um, enemies have a Thacko of... Uh, what were they? Oh! Well, that changes things a little bit. Uh, Pixel is now nearly dead. Storm Giants can cast Lightning Bolt, so they actually need to die yesterday. Uh, but yeah, so like, if we look at, uh, Pixel here, a, a Thacko of 1 means an armor class 0, he needs to roll a 1 to hit. Although I believe a 1 would still count as a miss, but basically any other roll besides a 1 will hit it. But that's for Thacko of 0. Uh, so an AC of 1 adds like a plus one to his roll, which means still he just has to roll a one or he misses. It's like pretty safe. So basically we should be hitting 95% of the time with Pixel here. He should be able to get a critical fail miss every now and then, but otherwise he should hit constantly. That's kind of why it's, it's kind of why it's pretty easy to hit these guys with fighters. Most of them seem to have a one of a Thacko of one. Or Thacko of Zillo, Zero if you're Fella, and he might even get extra to hit chance on these guys. I know he gets extra damage, but I don't know if he gets extra, like, chance to hit. Alright, so yeah, don't disrespect Cloud Giants. Being able to cast Lightning Bolts could definitely hurt. Wow, there's some experience. I think that might be the most we've seen in a single non-boss battle so far. Most money, too, probably. Alright, let's heal up a little bit here, uh, just to save time. Fella, do you have a heal spell? You sure do. Just cast that on Pixel, who was nearly dead. 
The rest of them should be okay for now, as long as I manage to not uh, walk into any lightning bolts. Still need a little bit of XP for Sirius and Pixel, and then I'll want to go back to town pretty quickly. It's not a dead end, it just didn't show the uh, door on the map. Small lever, sure. So we've hit two levers now, if you're keeping count. Another door there. I want those doors to show up on the mini-map so I can navigate easier. Okay, looks like my mini-map is pretty full. It's also nicely balanced, that means I probably didn't miss anything because the game still designs maps in a 10x10 10 10 sort of... S How do we even get out? Oh, right, this thing, yeah. The game will still be programmed to use a 10x10 10 10 or 16x16, 16 16, whatever it is. Um, Grid. More teleporting alcoves, probably? Let's see what's at the end of this hall. It's just a really long hall with a bunch of alcoves. I wonder if there's a lever for each alcove. Five alcoves on each side. I think I hit a lever on the first two sides, so... Assumedly, it will just sort of repeat like that. Um, <laughs> you hear a peal of manic laughter. You have discovered a trap! Serious, disarm it! Yeah! Now that is the, 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 the reason we keep a thief around. And specifically a thief... That's the wrong person. Specifically a thief that doesn't wear heavy armor. Either leather armor or bracers, something like that. Shields are okay. Obviously the longsword is okay. But you don't want to be wearing plate mail on this guy or else his chance to... Um, well, he can't use his thief skills. Disarm. I think, yeah, he must be high enough level now that he can handle these little traps. I know in the first game, uh, Pool of... Radiance? Was that the first one? Yeah. Um, he, like, failed all of his thief checks because he was, like, level 1, 2, 3 kind of thing. Now he's hitting them all, though, so... I don't know, I wonder how much experience he actually gets there. So, 997,517, if we find another one. Oh, there's the lever. Okay, so what I said, 997,517. Disarmed it, gets experience. Well, he's only getting like 400 experience per trap. That doesn't really matter much. <laughs> I'm concerned that there's areas on the map in this section that we can't get to. <laughs> Just sort of bumping into some people. Spend 10 minutes if you look. Sometimes you find stuff. I mean, they, they put these features for searching and looking into the game. I remember finding some stuff in, like, the Kryn games, but I don't know if these mechanics are, like, ever used. Or... Like, really, I don't know if they're ever used in the... Uh, no, we found some stuff by searching in the first game, but they're just not used regularly. You spin to see the Medusa charge you. In the background, you see huge chains and the collars on the walls. You see huge change and collars on the walls. Thick leather whips lie amongst the melting ice. Christina, we found your dungeon. That's a lot of these. Well... Nine. All right, let's um. Let's just use the ice storm. I don't want people to get turned to stone. It's not as big a deal now as it used to be, um, because we have stone to flesh. I did not do very much damage. Sorry, pixel. Oh, pixel! Ha! <laughs> I wish everyone had a silver shield. That would be awesome. Yeah, they go down really quickly, but... Uh, who's got... It's the mages. I do, and someone else does. Stone to flesh.
Oh, one HP from that too? Cheapskates. <laughs> uh, that, it's almost more annoying that we have to use a heal spell to uh, bring him back. Alright. Medusas are still going to be jerks. Hey, I think we found the next teleporter. Bottom left. Alright, well let's... I still stand by my... I think we should get the level up before we go back to town. Because we're fine. Uh, but that is good to know where that is. And as soon as everyone's going to level up, we'll go back to town and we'll end the episode. Now that I know where it is. Excellent. You discover what the whips and chains were for in the last room. Basilisks? Huh. Well, also, now that I know um, where... I know we can go back to town. Basically, I know where we can rest and restore our spells whenever we want now. Uh, so I could I could basically cast... I could use fireballs every turn, basically, now. Which, uh, now that I think about it, sounds pretty fun. Uh, let's cast over here. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh man, so much better when you can just use fireballs constantly, hey? I actually didn't mean to do all that dancing around there, but 2000 XP speeds not worth two fireballs. Alright, so I'm getting the strong feeling that there's going to be one lever per alcove. And once you hit all um, ten of them, something will happen. Or maybe there's nine and one of these areas has a locked door or something. The room you have entered has large haunches of meat hanging down from the ceiling. Some are identifiable as mastodon and cattle. Others have more disturbing associations. Human. It's human meat. Wonder if we'll find some dragons or something in here. Something. Well, probably driders. They eat stuff like that, probably. You feel a moment of disorientation, teleporters. Ah, uh, no. We'll head up the stairs later. Let's finish this floor first. There's our lever. Besides, it's reasonable to expect that perhaps that's where we need all the levers to be flipped. For, um... Somewhere up there. Seems like the text is the same on each of these. The room you've entered is full of the iconography of Bane. A scent of evil rises from the melting ice. Oh good, enemy clerics probably. Hmm. Uh, oops, no, no, no. I want to move forward one more tile, and then I want to cast Prayer. I almost never do this, I know I'm terrible, but we'll be blessed, and we'll be blah blah and I'll even have Fella cast, I think he's got it, Protection from Evil, 10 foot radius, which should hit the whole party as long as he casts it here. I'm not sure how it works in practice, but we'll see. You have awakened a barracks of priests. They react angrily. Now... Theoretically, the Banite priests, they should all be evil, so we should have all the all the buffs here. I don't know exactly why I did it like that. Do we have lightning bolts? We do not have lightning bolts. Oh, but Cone of Cold could be fun. It's basically a lightning bolt. As long as you're high enough level. Oops. Silly blue. What am I doing? What am I doing? Still no- I must- I must have forgot to memorize a couple lightning bolts. So you just cast it right there. It's very much like a lightning bolt in that situation. <laughs> Let's try- I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try skipping the first one and casting on that one. No. So, you, you saw what I did there, right? Like, I stood here, cast it one, and it hit everything in a line. I stood back, targeted it further down, and it still hit everything in a line anyway. 
I just don't understand how Cone of Cold works. Like, you target a square... And I, make, I guess it makes a cone in that direction, starting at the caster. And the further away you cast it, maybe the finer the the aiming you have. Like if you cast it, like if you cast it adjacent to yourself, you can only cast you know up, down, left, right, and you could cast it diagonally. But if you start casting it more than one square away, now it's north, northwest, and west, west, northwest, or something like that, maybe. I, I still don't know for sure, but... Oops. I still, it was more important to hit that Banite guy. Alright, I'm pretty sure we interrupted all of them. We're still getting hit a lot for all that blessing and praying we did. Who's, who's dying the most? Hmm. I think we interrupted them all. Not a hundred percent. No, not that one, obviously. Oh, come on, Pixel. What level are you? You still. <laughs> what level are you that you're still failing your saving throw for a level two clerical spell? Ah, uh, well, he's probably going to go down. Oops. I still, actually, now that he's helpless, we really need those priests to die. Um, luckily, um, fella does have a magic missile as a first edition D&D druid. Okay, that didn't work so well. You know, seeing as Pixel is already disabled, maybe we'll get lucky. Yes! Pixel, you might survive! You did survive! I was, I was almost sure they were going to attack you anyway. Oh, that was that was really lucky. Now I could try to cast like oops no I could I don't know what I was doing she just she blended in. <laughs> um, I could try to cast like uh, dispel magic on him. Someone probably has that. I think it's level three or four. There we go. Maybe I should have tried to use that quicker. See if that works. Now that probably got rid of his bless and prayer and all that, but uh, not being paralyzed is better. Yeah, get out of the gas. Oh, I forgot. Someone in the comments asked me to test out if um, you can use magic missile on a helpless target to just finish them. I think it will just do damage though, rather than... Um, one-shotting them like a melee attack would, or a, even an arrow. Nice! I finally got backstab. Alright, well that went pretty well. I mean, uh... Sirius and Pixel are... Well, Pixel nearly died due to whole person, and Sirius took a lot of damage, but, uh, that's okay. 10k XP, Sirius is ready for his level up. Uh, probably nothing worth picking up. I mean, it could be, but I doubt it. Alright, well, we better heal up a little bit before we continue on. We we're almost done exploring for our first trip. Um, I'm not sure the exact number Pixel needs, but it's it might be 1.5 million. Hopefully he's pretty close. Let's have me cast heal on Sirius. Oops, sorry. Things popping up. Select. Go away. Popping up things. Just a second, guys. 
Goldbox Companion is running windowed mode, of course, and uh, things get in the way sometimes. Okay, uh, everyone's in good enough condition to continue exploring. We still need the lever, yeah, for this area. Check these little alcove type places. You have entered a small cloister. The ice melts away from meditating priests. You think, you know, being frozen for 20 years would have some negative inf negative effects on your health. But apparently they are ready to fight as soon as they thaw out. I'm just going to use an ice storm here. I don't want to use my last fireball. Let's cast it here and hopefully it won't hit Pixel. Hey, Pixel, you, I managed to not storm you with ice. Uh, do you have anything useful? I will do another ice storm. Seemed to be a pretty good spot to cast it last time. Now, we didn't kill anything with that damage, but we did do quite a lot of damage. I now I want you to move down. I have a feeling it's another new... Uh, I know it's definitely a new round, and we're not going to be able to kill those Banite Priests all right now, so we're going to have to do this again. I'm getting... I think I got... I've, I've, I understand how to use Ice Storm now. I think I've figured out its uh, casting radius. Okay, it's another new round. It's actually kind of nice to have one person delay, and that way you know it's the end of the turn. Oops. So you know it's going to be time to start interrupting people again as soon as you take that action. Just one person, mind you, but... That's actually a reasonable strategy. I think that might work out. Yeah, we're good, probably. There might be something here. Look. Spent half an hour looking for treasure, we found nothing. Okay, I could probably use some math to figure out if we're actually anywhere near a level up for Pixel or not. Um, you know, I bet you it is 1.5 million, it's just he gets one-seventh of the XP we get for winning a battle. So we would need to win 24,000 times 7, which is, well, let's just round it to 25 times 7. Uh, it's 175,000 experience for the whole party. That's actually quite a lot. Um, I think I'll do one more alcove and then we'll go back to town regardless. As the ice melts away, the smell of rutabagas ri begins to rise. You can spot piles of vegetables about the room. Sure. Probably, I mean, freezing, you know, keeps things for a while, but 20-year-old rutabagas, I can't imagine being very edible. Right? I mean, even even rutabagas frozen in ice for 20 years couldn't be terribly good. The meat cooked here has a distasteful look to it. Who wants to try? Oops, I uh, pressed the wrong button. Seems like there is basically nothing to do here. Alright, well, we'll do one more alcove, seeing, seeing as that one didn't even really count. Looking around this room, you see sheets and rods of iron piled haphazardly. Is it blacksmith or something? Maybe we'll fight an iron golem? The ice is melting off piles of coal. The walls are blackened with soot. The ice melts in this room. It uncovers a short, twisted creature. It shakes off the last icicles and rises to its feet. You finally identify it as an aged, twisted, humpback dwarf. He looks at you with one good eye and begins to mumble, Hoy, what you done with me fire? I turned me back, and you frozen me forge. Mages be tough enough to work with, a dead one be even tougher. Stop your gawking, and give me a hand. He turns to the large forge and begins to arrange the coal. Shinga, you can help him. With your help, he gets the forge ignited. He picks up a hammer and strikes the bellows. In response, it begins to stoke the fire. With a satisfied grunt, he sets to work heating an iron rod. 
The dwarf continues to mumble and you record it as Journal 64. This is fun. Let's see, here we go. Mad dwarf. He's not mad, he's just a dwarf. Build him an arm today, a couple of chests tomorrow. Maybe slam out a few spare eyes. Wizards are queer birds. Uh, all akin, all skin and bones and glowing eyes. Always distracting you, cackling and giggling. Iron statues, always more bits and pieces. They do strange things to them next door. Never can be sure with wizards. Next thing you know, the statues will be walking. Never be sure. We are going to be fighting some iron golems sooner or later. In case, in case that isn't made abundantly clear. You tire of his chatter and move on. Oh, I mean, gotta find that switch. There it is. All right, well, we keep finding um, non-combat areas, so I guess we'll keep going. I guess we could clear off the first floor, seeing as we're almost done. Oh, good, more Medusas working on leather harnesses and hoods. Well... I'm gonna try. I'm trying it. I'm gonna cast it this direction. Did I hit them all? I hit all but one. Did I crack the coat? Last time... We're lucky. Uh, last time when I was theorizing how Cone of Cold works, did I figure it out? Because that was a pretty good Cone of Cold. That was even better than a lightning bolt. Hmm. We're gonna need a fireball this time. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple fireballs, I think. I'm excited to get everyone leveled up, I know, but uh... Gotta kill these Medusa. Medusae, I don't know. It's probably Medusae, plural, right? Um, I'm just going to throw a magic missile in to kind of soften her up. Almost killed her. Okay, they still had two chances to stone people, but... Is that it? Not enough XP for levels. Just a dead end. Surprise! More Medusa and Basilisks. I'll use my last fireball. Oops! No, that was fine. I thought I accidentally fireballed myself there. It's, it's fine. It's fine, guys! Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. I promise not to fireball you too often. Oh, come on, fella! Resist your stoning! At least Shinga reflects them. Nice! <laughs> I guess we all should have, um... Well, if... Uh, no. I guess we should all have mirrors and silver shields or something. I believe Pixel might have... Stone to Flesh? And then... Fella can handle his own healing. At least we've got that, right? Let's save it here. I hate it when it does this. Silly games. What is word number one after blah 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 display screens rule book page six? Uh, rule book page four, five, six. Display screens and points of view. Uh, hopefully that's what they mean. So the first word after that is secret. Should we delete everything just in case? All right. So we saved it. I really only did that just in case something terrible happens here while we're clearing out this last area. Because I think I, I think I used up all my stone to fleshes. Let's go to our final area. Then we can head back to town. It's going to be a long episode. It's just the way it's going to be. 
The room is filled with partially completed iron statues. Metal arms and legs are strewn on tables, and I don't think I have any lightning bolts to slow them, so we're just gonna have to win via brute force. A patrol of giants and driders awake you as you enter. One yells, I feel the chill of Ymir. Ymir? I think it's Ymir. Ymir? No, it's, it's probably Ymir or something. In my bones. I don't know. It's one of those gods. These gnats must have caused it. They attack. Oh, okay, so we've got driders and cloud giants. The cloud giants are no big deal. The driders, I believe, can cast something. Um... I could become immune to it. That'd be kind of fun. I don't have a lot of other spells that I can use. Ra Cone of Colon doesn't really work from the back row. I'd hit fella. Um, I'll just delay back here. Christina, do you have anything? You've got one last fireball. We'll do that. Should hit everything. Lots of saving throws. 44 isn't our best damage, but it's, it's acceptable. We've got one fireball left. One cone of cold. They've all been interrupted. Oh, wait. How is that one casting? Hold on, hold on. Cheaters! Look at this! Did he not take damage on that round? I don't understand how... I should have moved one more time there, but I don't understand how... The Drider was able to cast Lightning Bolt there. I must... Maybe they've got some sort of free cast, like, even if they've been damaged. Maybe they've got, like, an item that... Because I think you can use an item after you've, um... Taken... I guess, okay, it could be kind of like, uh, the Dragon's Breath attack. They can use that whether they took damage or not. Dragons can often cast magic as well, but they can all... And you, you can interrupt that if you hit them. But, um... If they're going to use their breath attack, they can just do that regardless. Maybe that's what happened. The stairway looks like it heads down to the dungeons. The ice between must have melted when we entered. So we can go down to the dungeons, and we, we know a way up. We know a way up and we know a way down from the main floor. You awaken a circle of driders who appear to have been studying parchments. They hiss. As spiders probably don't. So there's a lot of driders in a line. I don't like this very much. No, they, they still have to cast their magic, see? See? See here, y'all? Huh. Yeah, they definitely still are casting magic. Oops. It, okay, so that's out of range. We'll be able to hit this one and that one, but that's it. Oh no. Interesting. So I... The cone does go farther than the ability to click it. Oh, Christina! She has her vengeance. Whew, that was it's getting a little bit close here. Well, what is it? Gems. Fine. How much healing do we have left? None there. No, no good heals, anyway. Okay, you've got two good ones, so use one on yourself. And one on Sarius. And Cure Crit on Pixel. That's pretty good. Alright. We are running pretty low on heal spells, though. 
We still need to find the lever here. There it is. Probably kill some more driders. Uh, the room is filled with esoteric ingredients for magical spells. Some of the items are valuable. Yes! Plate mail, that could be good. Give it. And gems and jewelry, sure. Well, that was even better than driders. All right, let's get out of here. We know how to get down to the dungeons. And we know, oops. And we know how to go up to, um, well, whatever the second floor is. And I believe I remember where the teleporter is. There we go. All right, so bottom left is the first floor of the castle, which we have basically cleared out, as far as I can tell. I'm sorry, Pixel, you didn't quite get enough XP for a level up. You must be very, very close. Um, you know, 11,000 personal experience, that's 77 group experience. You're almost there. Let's level everyone else up and quickly identify, and then we'll wrap our episode up and end my session, I believe. So, sh training. Shinga is at the max level. Can't, ex can't get any higher. Probably gonna start losing experience pretty soon if we keep playing much longer. Fella, level 14 cleric. I would like to get him to 14 ranger because I s he still doesn't get two attacks per round like I would like. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't take too long. Pixel. More, more level 14 mages would be nice as well. You'll notice a level 13 fighter gets two attacks every round, I believe, but a level 13 ranger does not. Christina, right, the triple class definitely levels up slower. I think 12 fighter might be when you get your second attack per round, but I forget the specifics. And... Sarius? So I might have just got two more people the permanent two attacks per round, which is pretty nice. And myself. Oh yeah! The good stuff. There is no doubt about it. Oh, the next episode is going to be fun! And we'll go identify some stuff quick. Um, so this is, needs to be identified. Not enough money. Right, right. Uh, appraise the jewelry. Sell it. That should be enough money to identify stuff. Mage scrolls. We've got a lot of, of scrolls that I'm just not using. All right. Pool your money so that everyone can use the money to identify. <laughs> All right. That is a terrible bracer. You need to be much better than that. Plate plus three is nothing special. We've already got lots of those. That just means we got two mage scrolls. Well, that's disappointing. So our loot wasn't that great, unfortunately. I suppose we should sell off the battle axe. And... The plus three shield? Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Hopefully I didn't just sell something that was an upgrade for someone, but I believe everyone has plus three plate and shield by now. If they want plate shield. All right, pool the money, or share the money, that is to say. Get out of here. Head over to the vault. Deposit, pool, exit. Double check how much we've got. I haven't been picking up a whole lot, so our, our bank balance hasn't gone up a whole lot lately, but I mean, we're, we're filthy rich, so it's not a big deal back into town or into the inn fix quickly and the last thing I'll do today is just see what new spells we have vaguely um, fella got a cleric level up right so he should have a couple more cleric spells at the higher levels um, having a couple spare raised dead and I mean more healing spells the better basically those are amazing it's the main reason to have cleric is to have that heal spell in my opinion uh, pixel I think doesn't have any new spells. I must have forgotten that he has Fireball because I didn't cast it all from him. <laughs> um, Christina got 
a level up in Fighter, so she won't have any new spells. Same with Sarius. I, though, should have... Way down here, Delayed Blast Fireball. Oh, yeah. I also get more heal spells because I got a level up in Cleric. Now, we won't be getting level 7 Cleric spells in this game. If there are any, uh, I don't think they exist in this game at all. So, level 7 Mage spells is the top for Mage and level 6 Cleric spells is the top for them. Uh, I guess then the only other thing I would do is check out those scrolls quickly. Trade to me. View items. Trade to me again. And then... See what's on it. Uh, delayed Blast Fireball. Well, that's good if Christina, Sirius, or Pixel hit the high enough level. I will definitely give them that. I guess I can learn Mass and Vulnerability too. Yeah, Protection from good is useless, but... Uh, so if I've got them with me, mass invulnerability, I can I, or mass invisibility, I can learn here. I will get another mage level to just automatically learn one uh, of the level seven spells, and there's only like three of them, so it's not a big deal if I don't pick them all. But uh, mass invisibility, there's also like power word stun, um, which isn't very good. <laughs> so let's just rest. So you go. I scribed a spell. Whoop de woo. All right, well, I will, I will cover um, restoring everyone's spells off camera, and I will meet you back for a different floor of the castle in the next episode, in the next se session. So, thanks for watching, hope you have enjoyed, and have a great day.